We have been here in, uh, here in Louisiana. We have been to Lake Charles for two days this weekend to, to uh, ascertain what is going on with people and working class people on the ground. We have seen quite a bit of lack of resources. We have not seen uh, any, any government intervention, any help for most of the people. Uh, they have mostly been left to themselves. So we are here. We're demanding that the Trump administration lay out billions of dollars for recovery in Lake Charles and the surrounding area because it's more than Lake Charles that's been affected. To restore the electricity, to restore people's homes, and to have FEMA have intake workers throughout the community. A uh, bunch of boxes of wipes, We've got soups, gloves so they can use bleach, water in the middle, mandarinas mayo for the tuna, some heavy-duty trash bags. Uh, it was eye-opening what we saw in Lake Charles yesterday. People are suffering. Um, in some of the media, they said that Southern Louisiana dodged the bullet. But that's completely opposite from what we saw yesterday. Houses are destroyed. People's lives are destroyed. Everything they own is destroyed. Um, we've been living outside for like three days out here in my front yard. Um, my whole roof is on um, collapsed and the back of the house collapsed and the other roof. Um, they have water all in the house. All my furniture is damaged. Everything is going bad around here. No electricity, no water. Me and my, my um, fiance, we've been looking for hotels to stay in and, and just none available around here. I so appreciate what y'all you know, done for me today. That mean that mean a lot to me, man. Can we get you anything else? I'm Don't not be lying. shy. Hey, that mean a lot to me. It ain't much, but it, it, it's a lot right now. It mean a lot to me. I'm going through a lot. I help everybody, man, all my life, you know. And I never thought I can't I can't get help, you know. Were you getting unemployment now? Um, I was getting it. Yes, ma'am. I'm getting it. I was getting it. Were you getting the extra 600 a week? Um, when the first started, yes, ma'am. And it got cut off. It now, got cut right? off. Now it's one um 75 a week. How's it affecting you? I mean, it, 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 I mean, by the time I um go around the corner, that money is gone in about two days or a, a day and a half. I'm trying to find a. Uh shelter for uh, the folks behind us who had their house hit by the hurricane. And what's it saying? Um, it said there's no shelter near this zip code. We don't have water here. We're suffering. You know, the law enforcement, the National Guards here, the law enforcement, they're working together. They're shooting at us. If we're catching this outside, they're shooting at us. I got shot at last night. Here? Here. I got shot at. By which force? The National Guards and the Sheriff Department. Get to your house, pow, pow. What the hell was going on? This is not mandatory like that. Was it dark? It was dark at night. I'm just trying to get from the store and back home. What's your name, sir? Aaron Willis. And what's your situation here? Uh, the roof is messed up. I stayed during the storm. And uh, I got kind of broke window panes and uh, it started coming in the house and everything. I decided to just stay over here. And do you have electricity or water? No, I don't have no electricity and no water. What did you do before you retired? Before I retired, I'm an electrician. Yeah, work for the IBEW. Ah, you're a union member. Yeah, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And are you getting any kind of notice or help from the government? Has anyone told you no, anything? No, not yet. I don't have insurance, so... Uh, and my phone not working. And it, my phone got just cut off, I guess, during the storm. I couldn't call nobody. What's your name, ma'am? And tell me your story. Patricia. I'm raising my grandson. My husband's paralyzed, waist gone. And... 
we just don't know much people here. So any little help that anybody can give us, thank you, Lord. We appreciate it. And thank you for giving us this. Have you so, been visited by any officials for help or told anything? Uh, nothing. Not a thing. Y'all the only one that gives something. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Is you. Do you have cell phone? Yeah, I have a cell phone, but it don't work. Sprint is out. Completely out. How'd your husband become paralyzed? Uh, he was working, fell off the truck. Oh. 18 wheel. Oh, when did that happen? Well, I'm thinking like 2012, oh. something like that. And did he get SSI? Is he on disability? He on disability, and that's uh, our uh, monthly income, disability. And that's not much? That ain't much. We have a lot of stuff to give, okay. but we just want to ask, do you have water here today? Yes, we do. Running water? Running not water. running water. No, we got to run, but it's slow, very slow. So I, what I did, I filled the tub up, so all the uh, flush to come over. Yeah. You see, now take it back, because right now, Lake Charles said their water is not right. Yeah. Since, since that plant got blowed up, whatever they did, they went into the water, so it is all messed up. Man, what's the hardest thing about this storm for you all? Oh, the heat. Heat. I need a generator. They can take out a generator. Do you have electricity? No. Mm -mm. And it went out in the storm? Yes, yes ma'am. What have you heard about when it might get restored? We haven't. We haven't noticed. This is going to be a while. Oh, my God. Okay, that another storm. Well, let's get going. We'll give you some stuff here, okay? Okay, okay thank you, okay. ma'am. There are many people we met who don't have house insurance. That shouldn't be an obstacle to having their home rebuilt, rehabilitated, and made habitable again. In other words, we know that the government has plenty of resources because the working class of this country produces all that wealth. We know that corporations like Google, Facebook, Whole Foods, Amazon, Twitter, that they made hundreds of billions of dollars in profit in this pandemic and yet pay virtually none or no taxes at all while the working class has to suffer the way that we see. It's just, there, there's just so, so many different stories of people struggling here in Louisiana and it's completely unnecessary.